This is Phone Lab's IMEI Repair Guide for 2019. It's brought to you by IMEI Gurus, IMEI Repair at its best. For this repair, you're going to need a factory cable, a good internet connection, the battery is charged, and then we're going to enable USB debugging. So you're going to go into About Phone and make sure you uh, go into Software Information. You'll see Build Number. Tap on Build Number seven times and then you're going to bring up the developer options menu make sure that you check usb debugging make sure that is enabled and then i like to revoke usb uh, debugging authorizations that way we can test this prior to doing the repair you can bring up a command prompt and in terminal you're going to type adb devices make sure you're connected first that way you don't have to uh, troubleshoot this when you're doing the repair go ahead and do verify apps over usb and then jump into the dialer code here and dial star pound 0808 pound. It's going to be different if you're on a Sprint, de Sprint device. And what you're going to do is you're going to type in D or you're going to check DM plus modem plus ADB. Now, I like to also leave the display on for at least five minutes. So make sure timeout is at least five minutes. Uh, this repair generally takes five to ten minutes, but you don't want to be uh, prompting the display a lot. So also make sure you remove the case because... Uh, you're going to want to make sure that this connection is good. Use a factory cable. I'm using one here from Z3X. When you get to the order screen, it's really simple. You're going to log in with your dealer code so you can get that discount. And then you're going to choose the correct model and make sure you choose the carrier that the phone is with. Now, you're going to choose that carrier. And once you're done, you're going to paste the order number into the chat window to the right. So you're going to paste that order number in there. That way they know which number you are in the queue. Okay, and then prior to any of this, I do recommend that you go over all the recommendations here. Okay, uh, NOx cannot be tripped. So make sure NOx is zero. You can check that in download mode. And uh, we do have a class here on uh, Phone Lab if you have any questions about that. But make sure you go over each one of these prior to uh, doing the repair. That way if you run into any, any issues, you've already... Uh, reviewed everything and it should be uh, no problem. I also like to bring up a device manager in the left side of the screen here. You can bring up device manager. The reason why you want to do that is so you can see the connection every time it reboots. So the phone is going to reboot several times during this uh, repair and when it reboots you just want to uh, keep an eye on the uh, device manager make sure it's connected and then you're also going to look at the screen Make sure that you remove uh, that you remove the lock right there. You know when it comes up and it boots up. Just go ahead and go to the home screen, and then you should be good to go. Now this repair can be done on devices that are already have data on it, or they don't. So you don't have to factory reset the whole device, but I do recommend that you do it anyway. Make sure it is on stock firmware. Uh, that way, when you're doing the repair, you have pretty much solved any problem that potentially could go wrong during the repair and you're not going to have to troubleshoot on the run okay so make sure you do that and then uh, uh, when you do the repair one of the things that uh, I like to do is I like to uh, put in the baseband and build number um, you're, they're going to ask you to do it in most cases and you can go ahead and paste that in the chat window here um, that just lets the technician know um, you know what files they may need because it changes as security changes so they're gonna ask you about these things and in chat just go ahead and reply with the build number try to keep the small talk to a minimum um, because these guys are very busy and uh, you, you want to make sure that you get this repair done you might be doing a half a dozen phones in one shot but it just depends on what your needs are and don't forget they have that big discount if you have volume devices now, uh, once you've given them your baseband and build number for the device that you're uh, doing the IMEI repair on, they're going to send you a link. That link is going to be to download USB redirector. And here's the link here. You're going to go ahead and click on that. And then go ahead and save that to your desktop. And once you save it to your desktop, we're going to do one more thing. We're going to go back over to the chat window here, and you're going to highlight the IP address. Now it's going to be different for each device and for each person or each shop that's doing a repair. And then what you want to do is copy that, then go back over here to where you downloaded the USB redirector and go ahead and click install or go ahead and run that. 
Now, once you run that, um, you're going to wait a couple of seconds. Here, there's a little delay, and you're going to click Next and then paste that IP address there. Now, depending on where you're at, you want to have good connection because, for example, latency over the ocean can be uh, a little bit slower. So make sure uh, you, you have that good internet connection. Okay, now once you see number two here, go ahead and unplug your device and then plug it back in. And then the technician should be able to see you at this point. Um, but again, I'd pull up device manager on the left side of the screen here if you can, uh, just to make sure that if there's any problems that you've already addressed that ahead of time. You wanna make sure that these go smoothly. Now, once that's done, uh, you're going to see the uh, device reboot and as long as it's rebooting um, and usually the chat is quiet um, they will get this repair done quickly once the repair is done um, they're going to go ahead and paste your um, new IMEI number here at the bottom of the screen now what I like to do is I like to keep a file on my computer of every IMEI repair so if you look at the very bottom of the chat window though you're going to see options Go ahead and every time you do a repair, go ahead and click on options and then uh, you want to email a transcript. That way, if there's ever any issues with the IMEI repair that you had done, you can uh, you send that chat transcript to IMEI Guru 